Hey, Rodrigo, nice to see you. How are you? Everything good? Can you hear me, Rodrigo, Ingrid? How are you? Hi, good night. How are you? I'm good. How about you? How are you? Good. Good? Nice, nice. Good to hear you. <laughs> How about you, Rodrigo? How was your day today? Oh, hi. Fine. Fine. Very funny. Very funny. Why? Uh, because I make a big deal with my custom. You, you mean, a, okay, very fun or very funny? Funny is something that makes you laugh. Yeah, fun funny. Is... Yeah, we were talking about the contract and we are we were uh, laughing for a long time and uh, signed my contract, my customer. And so oh, great. Nice. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. it was nice. Very good. What about you, Ricardo? Anything interesting today? Wait, no, nope. what's a normal day? Normal day, all right. Yes. All right, great, great. Well, I got um, I got great news for you today, guys, because, um, well, we have, we have, you know, I promised yesterday, guys, that we, we were gonna practice, right? But we're gonna start a topic, which is pretty cool, which is relative clauses, okay? Before we get started, guys, let me ask you, uh, now, did you complete uh, section two in the midterm? Have you completed it? Yes. 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 All right. I completed. Uh, I complete section two, but uh, the midterm. Um, yeah, no, yet. Okay. All right. Complete mm -hmm. the midterm today, right? Please. All right, we need okay. to complete, it, guys. Uh, what about you, Rodrigo? Did you finish uh, section two in the midterm? Yeah, it's finished. Both. Great, great. All right. Thank you. Thanks a lot, guys. Thanks a lot. Do you need anything? Um, is there any question from the midterm or section two that you need help with? Or are you guys okay? You guys good? All right, great then. Great. All right, guys. So, anyways, let's get started, guys, because we don't have too much time. Sorry for people who are late, but we got to get started. Uh, thank, thank you guys for being early. All right, I appreciate it a lot. So we can, so we can get moving. Okay. All right, guys. So first thing, guys, uh, I needed to complete these exercises. Okay. All right. So we're gonna complete them. Uh, we're gonna complete them here together. Okay. All right. So, uh, so we're talking about participles as adjectives, right? So let's try to complete the first exercise. Can we all see the presentation? Yes, we're good. Yes, okay, very good. All right. Yeah. Now, do me a favor, guys. I want everybody, guys, to start completing these exercises in your notebook. Okay, you don't need to write them all. Okay, no necesitan escribir todo, just the answer. Okay, in your novel, guys, right now, let's choose is it amused or amusing? Okay, all right. <clears throat> let's choose the answers. Meanwhile, <clears throat> I'm gonna start asking. Okay, so everybody, guys, start completing them. Okay, Rodrigo. What is the answer for number one? And why? Uh, the uh, emotion, uh, emotion. Amused. Pronounce it. Amused. What do you say? Amused. Oh, amused. amused. Okay, amused. 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 All right, amused. All right amused. so it's this one, right? Amused. Very good. See, he was the one. Receiving the action, right? Very good. Uh, Ingrid, number two. It's so frustrated. No matter how much I study, I can see to remember this vocabulary. So your answer is frustrated? Yep. Okay, because right. Nobody, it's a, nobody say anything. Uh, okay, Tell me why. Because it's a feeling. It's a feel. It's, it's how I feel. Who feels this way, right? Read the whole sentence. Who feel? Who is feeling this way? Who is feeling frustrated? He's frustrated because uh, I can I can remember uh, the vocabulary. 
Okay. No matter how uh, uh, no matter how much I study. Okay, let me ask you something, Ingrid. When do we use mm -hmm. ed versus ing adjectives? What's the difference? Ed, ed is uh, in the case in the case of adjectives is so it's a um, uh, it is uh, like a, a feel or like a the feel I I I I I have a feeling in, okay, very good. A feeling someone okay. Is, someone has yes, go yeah. continue, I'm sorry. Okay. In the case I am A and G is this um is uh is The car is the a causa is uh, it's a cause, okay. It's All the right. cause of, of that feel. Very that good, right? You can say it's a cause, okay. So now, so you said that it's frustrated, all right. Why? So, what is the subject with feelings here? Who is receiving the action, or what is receiving the action? I, I receive the action. Where does it say you? Where do you see that uh -huh. this is talking about you? Where? It's it's so I so frustrating. See, uh, I I I I can read. No lo puedo ver bien. Okay. Okay. It's the sorry. subject, right? So frustrating. Very good. Okay. So this is frustrating, right? Uh, <laughs> That's okay, right? Thank you, right? So the answer is frustrating, guys, okay? Everybody, I need, okay, for people who just came in, guys, uh, you need to complete this in your notebooks right now, okay? Just the answers, okay? Just the answers, right? Ricardo, number three. Yeah. Boring. Boring, right? This lesson is so boring, just like in real life. All right, David, yeah. number four. Depressed. Depressed. Very good. Good job. Uh, Maria Belén, number five. I don't know if you can see it, guys. It says, I thought their idea was absolutely fascinated or fascinating. 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 Very good. Good job, right? Great. Great. You're doing great. Number six, guys. Um, let's see. Jenny Quesada, welcome. Jenny, what is the answer? Good evening, Good evening, Jenny. What is the answer for number six? Is this math is confusing. Very good. It's so confusing. Good job, right? Um, let's see. Rodrigo, number seven. Sorry. The teacher was really amused once again. Amused. Am amused. Okay, very good. So it is amused, guy. So the lesson passed quickly, okay? Now, is this correct, guys? Do you think this is correct? Um, the, all right, guys, read the context, okay? Not, not, not because it's a person, you have to use CD, okay? You need to read the context. So let me, the lesson... let me ask you something here, guys. So you have, you have, a, you, have a, uh, you have a teacher, right? You have a teacher. This is the teacher, right? The teacher was and really. These are the students. I'm not, okay. I'm not just... All right, these are the students. Now, guys, who who is amused? The teacher or the student? The teacher. The teacher. The teacher. The teacher. So that means that the students, so, so, so let me ask you something, right? So the teacher is being amused by the students. So the teacher is amused by the students. Is this correct? Think, guys, think. Do you know what amused is, guys? Amused? Do you know what it means? Saben qué significa amused? 
It's like saying entertained, okay? Entertained, entretenido. So who is entertained? The teacher or the students? The teacher. So, so let me ask you something. So the student, right, so if, you, if you say guys that the teacher is entertained, that means that the students are entertaining the teacher. Me estás diciendo que los estudiantes están entreteniendo al profesor. Is that correct? Los estudiantes son los que están atendiendo al profesor. ¿De acuerdo a esta oración? Yes or no? No. I, I no. Say in Spanish. El teacher estuvo, era, era bien divertido porque la, la lección pasó bien rápido. Right? So, who were amused? The teachers or the students? Right? Let's go. All right, let me, let me put it in a different way. Who was funny, the teacher or the students? The, the teacher. teacher. The, the teacher, teacher was right? funny. Very good. If the teacher was funny, who were being entertained? Who were being amused? The student. The students, right? Um, so, so the answer for this is? Amusing. Amusing, guys. Got it? Amusing. All right. So now, uh, amusing. Ex explain to me. Um, all right, Ricardo, why is it amusing and not amused? Amused. Uh, because uh, in this sentence is the lesson that the noun that is described with amusing with the adjective no the, the the adjective is not describing the lesson guys the 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 the, the adjective amusing is describing what guys i think because the the do the action Exactly, guys, okay? There you go. Thank you, Maria Belen, all right? ING, guys, you should have this in your notebook, right? This is the doer of the action. Remember yesterday I explained this, right? Whoever performs the action, guys, is ING, okay? And the receiver, all right? So the ED, guys, is the receiver of the action, okay? Receiver of the action, okay? Who is doing the action? Who is performing the action? The teacher is performing the action, all right? Who is receiving the action? The students, right? Oh. Got it? That is the answer, guys, okay? So do not forget that, okay? Very good. Uh, whose turn is it? Hilda, hello, Hilda, welcome back. Um, Hilda, what is the answer for number eight? Number eight, teacher. The junior was exhausted. 12 or by bus. The journey was what? Exhausted. Exhausted. Okay. Yeah. Who, does, who disagrees, guys? Quien está en, en desacuerdo? Who disagrees? Okay. All right. Very good. Why can I not say the journey was exhausted? Because it's not feeling the journey. The journey is not a person. It's not something with feelings, guys. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. Also, guys. It is the performer of the action, right? So it's exhausting, okay? It is the doer of the action and also it doesn't have feelings, okay? Ah, okay. All Sorry. Right. That's okay. Uh, let's see, David, number nine. Alarming. Alarmed? Alarming. 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 Okay. The plane began to move in a rather alarming way. Good job, all right? Number 10. Um, Giovanni Palacios, number 10. It says he was frightened or frightening when he saw the spider. I can see the okay. He was frightened, frightened when he saw frightened. When he saw the spider. Okay, so the answer guys is frightened, right? Because we're talking about a person and he is the receiver of the action. Okay. Number eleven. Um, thank you very much. Um uh, Let's see, Ingrid, your turn again. Number 11. I'm glass really embarrassed. 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 When I, I feel over in the, in the street. I fell, fell over. I fell over in the street. Very good. The, the answer is embarrassed. Very good. Good job, Ingrid. Um, 
Do you have it in? Number 12. The bill that Phil was so the, the, the pressing. The film. The film, the film. was so depressing. Depressing, very good. Okay, good job. Um, Hilda, number 13. Fourteen, teacher. Thirteen, thirteen. We are going in the helicopter. How excited? Okay. How, how exciting? Thirteen, thirteen, one, three, thirteen. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't come tonight. Completely exhausted. Okay, exhausted. Very good. Thank you, Hilda. All right, Giovanni, number fourteen. We are going in a helicopter. How exciting. How exciting. Very good. Uh, Tatiana, number four, number 15, Tatiana. It says, don't show my baby photos to people, mom. It's so, is it embarrassed or embarrassing? What do you think, guys? Embarrassed or embarrassing? Embarrassing. All right, it's embarrassing, right? Very good, okay, embarrassing. All right, guys, so how many of them did you get right? ¿Cuántas estuvieron buenas, guys? From the ones that you completed in your notebook. All of them? None of them? All right, guys. Oh, this is very tiny. Uh, all right. We're gonna play a game, guys, so you can talk, but... Uh, let me see if I can. God, it's very hot here. So let me see, guys, if I can zoom this in a little bit. And that's still very small. So... Hold on. So, so what I'm gonna do, guys, is that I'm gonna, I, I think I'm gonna have to split the screen. No. So I have a dice, guys, okay? Uh, I have a die, I'm sorry, I have a die. In my position, a virtual die. Do you know what a die is? Battle. No. A die, right? So I have a die, guys, in my position, right? So what we're going to do with that die, guys, is that I'm going to throw it, and whatever number you land on, that is the sentence that you're going to complete, okay? All right? But you have to talk, okay? Now, if you want, you know what? Somebody else, roll the dice. I'm going to give you the link here. Now, you know what? I'll do it just, just, just so we can do this quick, okay? All right, guys. So do me a favor. Remember your position, okay? You have to remember your position. Tienes que recordar tu posición, porque yo no voy a recordar las posiciones de 11 personas, okay? All right? I can't, all right? Very good, guys. So, so let's do that, okay? So, for example, guys, if you land here, right? My mom organized a birthday party for me. I was really, is it surprised? Is it surprising, okay? So you have to give me the right answer, got it? All right, very good. Whoever gets to the end, guys, we end the game, okay? All right? El que sea que llegue a la meta primero, terminamos el juego. Got it? All right. Very good. Now, another thing, just to make this faster, all right, after the first throw, we are going to uh, multiply the dice. Uh, we're, I'm going to play with two with two dice, okay? Después del primer tiro, guys, vamos a jugar con dos dados para hacerlo más rápido, okay? All right. Sounds good? Okay. Right, guys. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. All right, hold on. That's crazy. All right, so um, I'm gonna, just going to pick the first one, guys. Ricardo, okay? Ricardo, you're the first one here. You rolled that five, okay? So... 
you're gonna go we're gonna go to position five here so what is number five guys okay five but is, i can see the five positions it says go back to spaces okay okay all right so we're gonna go to this room right here go ahead so what is it it's go ahead but back yeah, it's just go back to space. So you landed here. I get on the stats. So okay, yes, okay. No. Um, I can wait for my next holiday. I'm really excited about it. Very good, okay, all right. I'm really excited about it, okay. Good job, Ricardo. All right, remember your position, right? Good job, Ricardo. You're okay. Here, okay. Very good, all right? So let's see who's the next one. Now, guys, uh, I'm going to multiply this by two, okay? Whatever number we land on, this is going to be multiplied by two, okay? All right, so that is six, okay? Six uh, times two, that's 12, okay? So 12, 12 points here. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, I'm covering eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, your sentence, okay? So you have to give me your own sentence and that goes to David. Let's go, David. Uh, give me your own sentence. Greedy or ING adjectives. Uh, uh, I am really tired. I am, really I am really tired. tired. No, I am really tired. I am really tired. Good job. Okay, good job. All right. Next, guys. Good job. Uh, Maria Belen, right? Maria Belen, let's see. All right. You have one point. So, <laughs> number two, right? One times two, guys. That is. All right. So, MB for Maria Belen. All right. So, this one. Let's go. Okay. London is a very exciting 80. City, City, sorry. Very good. Good job, right? Good job, Maria Belen, right? Giovanni Palacios. Let's go, Giovanni. All right. 12, okay? Your own sentence, Giovanni. Let's go. Okay. Uh, my work is so hard. I'm very tired. Don't, don't use the same verb, guys. Do not, do not cheat. Do not <laughs> use the same verb, okay? Okay. Um... Don't be the putados. Okay, um, my new car is wonderful. I am very exciting. Very tiring? Okay. Exciting. Exciting. Okay, very good, All right? I like that. Good job. Thank you, Giovanni. Hilda. All right, let's see. Let's see roll here, all right? So two, that's two times two, that's four. Okay, so let's go to number four. One, two, three, four. This one right here. Let's go. Uh, I didn't understand, teacher. Sorry. Yes, you have to you have to give me an example with this. No, it's a example. My job is very interesting, but no, no, no. Here, here. Can no. you look at the screen? No, no, I can't see. You can't see, guys. Can you see the screen? No, no. Yeah, Nothing. I can. All right, I think I think you gotta you gotta. Uh, <laughs> there is something in your Zoom that is not allowing you to see the presentation, Hilda. All right. So we're just, we're gonna skip you for a moment, okay? All right, uh, Rodrigo, all right, let's go, Rodrigo. Now, guys, all right, to make it a little bit faster, we're going to multiply this times three, okay? So let's see, Rodrigo, three times three, guys, that's a nine, okay? So let's go with nine. What is your position here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Lose a turn. Beautiful. All right, I'm sorry, Rodrigo. <laughs> all right. <laughs> all right, Jenny, all right, let's go with Jenny. All right, Jenny, one times three, that's three guys, okay? All right, so Jenny, number three. You are muted, Jenny, my teacher. Okay, <laughs> I can't wait for my next holiday. I am really excited. 
about Good. it. I can't wait for my next holiday. I'm really excited, right? Very good. Mm -hmm. All right, very good. Um, let's see who's next. Um, that was that was Jenny, right? Jenny, Little Rodrigo, David, Ing Ingrid. All right, let's go, Ingrid. All right, Ingrid. Um, six times three, guys. That's 21, right? No, that's 18, sorry. That's 18, right? So, all right, let's go with... Uh, Let's go with uh, 18, guys. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, right? Your sentence. Let's go. Uh, okay. Um, I like the movie because it's very interesting. interesting. You like what? I like the movie because it's it's interesting. It's very interesting. Okay, very good. All right, great. Um, good job, right? Ingrid is winning for no reason, guys. Go back. <laughs> All right, uh, Giovanni. Oh, Giovanni, did you already give me yours? No. No. Okay, right. Let's go, Giovanni. Let's see. Okay. All right, Giovanni. Uh, five times three, guys. That's fifteen, right? So let's go, Giovanni. 15, Two, zero, four, three, five, what is it? Um, in D and G, your this sentence. Right this no, right no. Here. No? Yeah, ah. it's this one. Ah. All right. From the oh, start. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, oh, you, okay, that's what I was asking you, if I already asked you. So, okay, which one, where, which one is it? Just read it. Where are you? I am in the 12th space. Oh, so you already did it, huh? Huh? In the 12th space. 12. In the, in your sentence space. Oh, okay, here? I am the G. <laughs> oh, oh, this is a G, I, okay. <laughs> I thought it was an A. That's why I did it. <laughs> That's why I couldn't say it. It's a G. Okay. And it's my own handwriting, guys. That's crazy. All right, very good. So uh so what is it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, uh twelve. Alright. So you won, man. You got I'm you finished. Got, you got to the end, right? Give us one sentence, right? Give us one sentence. One sentence more. Um, my dog is too young. He's very scared. My dog is very what? Young. And? And he is um, scared. He's what? He's scared. He's scared. Also. Scared. Oh, no, then that yeah, those is not scared, okay? All right. He's um he, I Wait. mean if you say guys that he that he gets scared by everything, I mean that's how you say it. he gets scared by everything. He's very yes. all afraid. Right. All right, no. so he's very scared, okay. All right, so he's scared, okay? Tiene miedo. He's scared of whatever, right? Then you have to mention what he's what he is scared of, okay? Good job, guys. All right, that was guys just to break the ice. The floor's for you guys. Well done. Okay. All right. Now, guys, do we understand? Do we all understand the difference between ed versus ing adjectives? Okay. <clears throat> Very good, guys. Very good. Yeah. Now this is gonna be a long topic, guys. But before we continue, since I see most of you are here now, guys, who has not completed section two? Cannot complete the section two, guys. All right. Guys, hoy necesito que la completen eso, okay? All right, very good. Uh, Tatiana, Hilda, Jenny, you're good? Did you continue? No, teacher. Right. Not yet, but tomorrow. Okay. Okay. By tomorrow, the midterm needs to be completed. Para mañana, el midterm tiene que estar completado. All right? Okay. We, um, so, also, guys, this week, okay, on Friday or Saturday, complete section three, okay? All right? So okay. the platform you can move from with platform like you can complete the whole platform guys. 
for me, it's better if you complete the whole platform, right? Um, like today, if you want, right? But you need to move on, okay? We're a little bit delayed in, with the platform. I have a question. Tell me. Um, uh, to finish uh, the middle test, I need to uh, do uh, the number three, the lesson number three. No, the midterm comes comes before lesson three, before uh, the, the section three. Okay. Guys, the midterm, the midterm is in, es de la, es parte de la sección dos, guys. All right. Solo le das next, ahí te sale. Cuando llegas al último ejercicio de la sección dos, ahí te sale midterm, okay? Right. Okay. So, para esta semana, guys, the midterm y la sección tres. La sección dos ya tendría que haber estado terminada. All right, please, guys. All right, let's move. Sí. Teacher, I am I am finished the the lesson two. I I have uh, only the midterm. Okay, that's great. Okay, so finish okay. the midterm today. That would be great. Okay. All right, very good. So guys, um, so we're gonna start a very special topic today, guys, which is which is um. Relative clauses, okay? Who has heard about relative clauses, guys? King Oyo said can learn relative clauses. I'm sorry? Have you ever heard about clauses? Do you know what a clause is? Yes, that is two two sentence. Two one sentences. is one explains the other. Okay. And this uh, together with the TH word. Um, you're kind of defining a relative clause, okay? Kind of, all right? Very good, all right, you got an idea, that's good. Who else, guys, who else? No, okay. So we're gonna talk about relative clauses, right? But before that, right, this is what we're gonna see, guys, okay? We're gonna, we're gonna define what a clause is and we're gonna go over uh, relative pronouns, relative clauses, and then we're gonna have some practice, okay? So what is the objective, guys? Um, Giovanni, help me read, Giovanni. Objective. By the end of this class, participants will will learn to use relative clauses in order to join two ideas into one. Very good. Repeat, participants. Participants. Okay, right. So, guys, this is very important to remember. Join two ideas into one, right? Write that down in your notebook, guys, because you're going to be... You're gonna have to understand that part very well. Okay, so first of all, guys, what is a clause? All right, a clause sounds like something difficult, but it is not, guys. It's something super, super easy, okay? A clause, guys, is a group of words that contains a subject and a verb, okay? What is a clause, guys? You can call it predicate, guys, but you can, you know, it's also a verb, right? What is a clause, guys? It's a group of words containing a word. uh, subject and verbs and predicated. Exactly, guys, okay? All right, so you can have, you know, he, blah, 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 Ross, blah, 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 right? So do you have, do, do I have a subject here? Yes, do I have yes. a verb? Yes or no? Yes. So that is a clause, guys. See? Simple as that. Okay? Got it? Yes? Okay. Yes. So if I say, guys, um, I graduated last year. Uh, we know that this is, first of all, is this a sentence? Yes or no? Es una oración, yes or no? Is that a sentence? Yes or no? Yes. Yes, right? Is this a clause? Yes or no? Yes. All right. Why is this a clause, Jenny? Okay, what is a clause? What did I, I just said what a clause is, guys. A clause is a root of or containing subject and verb. And a verb, okay. So, so tell me, why is this a clause then? ¿Por qué es una clause? Because has a, a subject and, and exactly. one verb. Exactly, 
Okay, guys, it is a clause because it has a subject and it has a verb. Got it? All right. Do you understand, guys? When somebody asks you guys, why is this a clause? Oh, it's because it has a subject and a verb. Yes? Yes. Sati, do we get that? Jenny? Jose? All right, very good. Thanks. Now, take a look at this. All right. Uh, is this, how many sentences do we have here? Cuántas oraciones tenemos aquí? Two. Two. We have, are you sure? Yes. Yes. So guys, okay, all right, maybe you're not seeing well, right? I say, when I came here, coma, I saw him. How many sentences do we have here? Sentences, not clauses, sentences. How many sentences do we have? One. We only Just have one. one. Just one, one guys, and two okay? closed sentences. All right, very good. Una coma no separa oraciones, okay? Un punto separa oraciones, okay? All right, got it? Very good. We have one sentence, okay? So no confundan, don't get confused with sentences and clauses, okay? Una oración no es una, un, un clause, okay? I don't know how to say that in Spanish, okay? So it, it's not the same, guys. So we have one sentence, how many clauses do we have? Any. How many clauses do we have, guys? Two clauses. That's it. When, oh. uh, guys, una correction. Cuando se dicen any, eso no, no sé qué quieren decir con any. Eso no significa <laughs> nada, okay? All right? So, no sé qué quieren decir cuando me dicen any. No sé qué es eso, dude. All right? Any what? Can any number. Decir? Any number of clauses. No. Eso da, no. doesn't make sense. No tiene sentido lo que estoy diciendo. Si quiere decir ninguna, you say none. Okay? None. This is how you say it, okay? Or you can uh, say there uh, isn't any, okay? Any, guys, because your brain is translating it, you think that that means ninguna. No, guys, any doesn't have a translation, okay? Do not think in Spanish, right? Anyways, so so you say that there is no clause here. David, vos, vos decís que no hay ninguna no, eh, cualquiera. Puede haber cualquier cantidad. Okay, that is not possible. We have an exact quantity, okay? But, okay. How many clauses do we have in this sentence, guys? Do I have another answer? Mm, we have two clauses. Okay, clauses? you think that we have two? Okay, very good. Let me ask you something. David, what is a clause? Eh, it's a... Uh... It's formed uh, by one subject and one uh, verb. Okay, so how many clauses do we have here? Two this classes. Two. All right. All right, very good. We have two guys. Subject verb. Subject verb, got it? Mm -hmm. All right, we have two clauses, okay? So in one sentence, guys, we have two clauses, see? Okay, all right. Take a look at this, guys. When I came here, I saw him, right? Now, it's a sentence, guys, because a sentence is a whole idea, okay? Una oración es una idea completa. Got it? All right? It's, it's, it's something that makes sense. You know, you put it together, and that's it, right? If you separate something by commas, guys, you still can have a sentence, you know? Take a look at this. How many clauses do we have here? In the third example. Three. We have three. And how many sentences? I can't. I saw a he read. No, how many sentences, guys? How many sentences do we have? Only one. Only one. We have only one. only one, okay? First clause, clause number one. When I came here, see? Subject verb. I saw him, subject verb. He greeted me, subject verb. Got it? All right, separated by comma. So we have three clauses, one sentence, yes? Yes? Okay, very good, guys. Very good, okay? All right. Now, let me ask you something. Do we know what the definition of a clause is? Todos estamos en, el misma, en la misma página, guys, de qué significa una clause. Yes? yes? All right. Can I continue? All right. Very good. So, we have, you know, two major types of uh, cl clauses, okay? We have rel uh, we have uh, dependent or in in independent clauses, okay? All right. So, we have dependent and independent clauses. Okay, clauses, okay. So we have two kinds, guys, most of the times, okay? Remember this, because 
you have to know the definition of this, okay? All right, uh, Ingrid, would you please help me read the definition of an independent clause? An independent clause functions clause, on its clause. 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 Yes. yes. Clause. Okay. An independent clause functions on its own to make a to make a meaningful sentence and looks and looks much much like a regular sentence. Very good. Okay, stop right there. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you, Ingrid. All right, guys, an independent clause, guys. Is a, a clause, okay, we know what a clause is, right? A group of words that contains a subject and a verb that makes sense, makes sense on its own, right? When you say it, guys, it makes sense, okay? All right? So, for example, guys, if I say, I run every, every day. Let me ask you something. If I say, I run every day, would you understand the idea? Si yo te digo, corro todos los días, vos entendés la idea de lo que estoy tratando de decir. Yes. Yes. No? yes. Yes, right? So it is an independent clause, right? All right? Yes. Very good. Now, when we have more than one idea, guys, okay, we can join them together, okay? So I run every day, okay? Let, let's say, all right, let's talk about this. Um, I want to lose weight. Okay. All right. So now, guys, I have how many how many ideas do I have here? What ideas think? Right. How many sentences do I have here? One. Two, guys. Two. Two. Guys, está separado por puntos. Okay. Cada idea ah. es una oración, right? So I have two. Right. I have two. Good try, though. Good try. Okay. So I run every day, and I want to lose weight. So now I want to join these two ideas together, okay? Now, let me ask you something before we move on, okay? So this is a dependent or independent clause, guys. We know that this independent. is independent, right? independent, independent. Right? Okay, very good. Now, what about this one? Dependent or independent? Dependent. Independent. Independent, guys, same thing. Ya les dije, guys. Si vos lo, lo decís y tiene, y tiene sentido, es independiente, así de simple, right? Independent, right? Now, it's called independent because it doesn't need anything else to make sense. No necesitas que le agregues nada más para tener sentido, got it? No necesitas que le pongas nada más, okay? So now, if I want to join these two sentences together, we can use coordinators, okay? Podemos usar coordinadores, okay? When you say and, but, so, or, nor, for, yet, but whatever, okay? Because? Which are called conjunctions too. All right, you can use conjunctions as well. Um, <clears throat> right. So I run every day. So let's join these two ideas together, guys. Okay. Now, para eso no sirven, para eso no sirve saber qué es una independent, qué es una, qué es una relative clause. Okay. Right now, I'm not going to give you an example uh, of that exactly, but I'm going to teach you that you can join two ideas together. Okay. Now, let me ask you something. Why do I want to, to, to run, guys? ¿Por qué quiero correr todos los días? Because you, to you want weight. to lose. To lose All weight. Right. Very good. Listen to what you said, guys. Because, okay, I want to lose weight, right? Because mm -hmm. I want to lose weight, okay? Very good, okay? So let me ask you something, right? Acabamos de unir las dos ideas. We just joined the two ideas. Let me ask you something. How many, how many sentences do I have now? We had two before, right? All right, we had two. We one. have one, one sentence. sentence. Okay, we only have one. One. How many clauses do I have? Two. 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 Okay, we have two clauses, right? The first one is. I run every I day. I run every day. I run every day because I want to lose weight. Got it? Yes. Now, notice that the second clause is introduced by a, by a conjunction, okay? La segunda clause, clause whatever you translate it, es, es introducida, es presentada, introducida, whatever. I don't know. Well, I'm going to keep speaking English, guys. I don't know. It's, it's introduced by the, the conjunction because, okay? 
because I want to lose weight. Now, if I go if I go on the street and I say, "Hey, Maria Belen," all right, because I want to lose weight. <laughs> do you, do you, the, the, does that idea make sense? Si yo veo yo veo a Maria Belen en la calle y le digo, "Hey, porque quiero perder peso." ¿Sabes de qué estoy hablando? Do you know what I'm talking yeah. about? No. No. If I don't know what I'm talking about, if she doesn't know what I'm talking about, it's because I need more information. Because I need more what? I need more what? Information. I need more information, right? Now, mm -hmm. if I need more information to make sense of my ideas, yo necesito más información para que mi idea tenga sentido. Es una, es una clause dependent or independent, guys? Dependent. It's like your talk, right? Dependent, right? Dependent, depende, right? Dependent. Okay? Es dependiente, guys, porque depende de otra cláusula para tener sentido. Got it? All right? Now, if I, if, if, I, if, I, if I say, hey, Maria Belén, I run every day because I want to lose weight. Now, does that make sense? Yes, right? Yes. Okay, very good. So, guys, that's uh, what I'm talking about here. This part, guys, right here, which you should be taking notes, guys, okay? Deberían de estar tomando notas, right? This part right here, guys, because I want to lose weight, that is the example of an, uh, a dependent clause, okay? But before we get there, guys, okay, uh, let's take a look at the last examples here. He was, he's a wise man, right? <clears throat> independent. Why is he independent? Because he uh, understand. Because you because can understand the idea. I like him. See? Dependent mm -hmm. or independent, guys? Independent. Independent, right? Can you do it? Dependent or independent? Independent. All right. See, because if I ask you that, you understand, right? Do it, please, right? We have... Uh, uh, now, notice, guys, that the subject is hitting, okay? All right. You do it, please, okay? So you should have, guys, something here, which is the subject you. You do it, okay? Now, so here, guys, remember... What is, the what is the definition of a clause? ¿Cuál es la definición de una cláusula? A well, subject I, I and a verb. A, a group. Okay. It's a group of words, yes? Oh. Somebody was talking. I'm sorry. I... It's a group of, of words containing a subject and predicated. Very good. And a predicate or, or a verb, okay? You mm -hmm. can say a verb too, okay? So, guys, esto, aunque dice do it, please, okay? No dice you, okay? Este do it, please, se refiere a, uh, hay, hay un pronombre escondido, okay? All right, this is called an imperative. Es, es, se llama imperative. Un imperative es un comando, okay? Vos le estás dando un comando a alguien, got it? Un imperativo. I don't know if that's how you say it in Spanish, okay? All right, but, but uh, it's called an imperative because you're giving a command to someone. Who are, you, who are you giving a command to? You're giving the command to you, right? You do it, please, okay? So anyways, it is... Yes, it is still, guys. All right, very good. It is still, guys, a an independent clause because, you know, it makes sense on its own, right? I read the whole story, dependent or independent. I read the whole story, dependent or independent, guys. Independent. Independent, independent right? Why? Because, again, it makes sense on its own, right? Now, we can also have two independent clauses, see? I want to buy a phone, coma, but I don't have enough money. I want to buy a phone. We know that that's dependent, right? Because I can go, hey, David, I want to buy a new phone. Would, would you understand, guys, if I ask you, hey, I want to buy a new phone? Yes. Yes, right? What if I say, I don't have enough money? Would you understand if I said, I don't have enough money? No. Really? I don't have enough money? It's not yes. A good idea. Ah, yes, yes. Uh -huh. right, yes, right? Yes, okay. So you can use, okay, you can introduce... You can use two independent clauses together, okay? All right? So anyways, okay? Ahorita, lo que tienen que haber aprendido, guys, es... Que es una... Uh, what is a clause? Okay, what, what a clause is. Tienen que haber aprendido que es una clause. All right? Y tienen que haber aprendido que es una independent clause. Do we understand those two terms? Yes? Yes? Okay, very yes. good. Yes. Now, a dependent yes. clause, guys, okay? A dependent clause, I call it the, el tóxico, la tóxica, okay? All right? Why? Because... Son dependientes, okay? They need love, right? They need something else to complete them, okay? They cannot leave, leave alone, okay? You no pueden vivir solos, okay? So, the definition, guys, of a dependent clause 
a dependent clause, blah, 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 blah. Right? A dependent clause, guys, just needs another clause to, to have sense, okay? You can read this, guys. Lean esto si quieren, right? Muchas palabras para mí, guys, but you can say, guys, a dependent clause, okay, is a group of words with a sub, you know, a clause, right? I'm just going to call it a dependent clause. Uh, needs of uh, needs another clause to make sense on its own. Okay, esta es la definición sencilla, guys. Okay, Un, una dependent clause necesita otra cla otra clause para tener sentido. To make sense, okay. Not not it not it sounds, guys. Okay, to make sense, okay. Just like this, okay. All right, got it. All right, so that is a dependent clause, guys, okay? Did you write it down? David, do you have the definition in your notebooks? No, not yet. All right, very good. So write it down, guys, because otherwise you're not going to understand the rest. Después se pone un poco más complicado, así que necesito que entiendan ese término, okay? Ricardo, Giovanni, do we know what a dependent clause is? Yes, Tati? I think okay. yes. All right, very good, very good, okay. All right, very good. Now, I'm going to give you examples, okay, porque entender Independent clauses is being fácil, okay? I like apples, right? That's a dependent or independent clause, guys. I, I like apples. Independent. Independent, right? Independent. Right. So, ya entendieron todos que es una independent, okay? Pero, hey, la dependiente. ¿Qué onda con la dependiente, right? Right. Now, guys, this is an example of, an of a dependent clause. Uh, can, can, does anybody want to help me read? Who wants to help when me I was When I was dating Diana... I had an accident. Right, very good. It says Dana, but Diana, I like it more, okay? Uh, now, let me ask you something, guys. How many sentences do I have here? One sentence. We have one, okay? We have one sentence, okay? One, only one, right? You see, there is a period. Hay un punto aquí, right? Esto es una coma, no es un punto, right? So we have one. How many clauses do we have? Cuántas, cuántas clauses do we have? Two. two. We have two. Which is the first one? I was dating. When I was dating <laughs> Dana, right? Or Dina, Dana, Dana, whatever. Plus number two. I had. To. I had an accident. Have now, to. I had an accident. Dependent or independent? Independent. Independent. Okay, independent. All right, remember, guys, remember, if you want to find out if a clause is dependent or independent, imagine seeing someone in the street and, and, and screaming this, okay? Si vos quieres saber si una, si una clause es dependiente o independiente, imagínate que te encontrás a alguien en la calle y le gritas lo que estás leyendo, right? Hey, tuve un accidente, right? Hey, I had an accident, okay? Si la persona te entiende, es una, es una, es, es independiente, right? But if you say, hey, uh, porque me gustan los chocobananos, right? What? Right? Si la persona no te entiende de qué estás hablando, right? All right. Then it is dependent, yes? Got it? All right, very good. So if I if I if I if I saw you guys on the street and I and I scream, hey, when I was dating Dana, do you understand what I'm talking about? No. Do you need more no. information? That's the question. Do you need more information? Do you need more information? Yes. Yes. Yes, okay. So it is dependent, see? Es dependiente porque necesitas más información para que tenga sentido lo que te estoy diciendo. Okay? <laughs> so so this is, guys, these are examples of dependent clauses, okay? Because, hey, they don't make sense on their own, see? All right. Uh, if I, if, if you see me in this, all right, let's, let's, let's have another example, okay? Uh, Giovanni, all right, you're walking down the street and suddenly you run into Ricardo, okay? Estás caminando en la calle y de repente te encontras a Ricardo. Y quiero que le grites esto, all right? You're going to say this to him. Who stole the what? No, es una pregunta. This is not a question. Mm -hmm. Right? Léelo como una oración, no como una pregunta. Don't say, who hey. stole the watch? No. Who stole the watch? Who stole the, who stole the watch? Right? Who stole the watch? Right? If I, if, I, if I say like that, hey, Ricardo, who stole the watch? Right? Who stole the watch? Do you know what I'm talking about? Remember, it's not a question. No. Hey, who stole the watch? Right? Not a question, guys. Do you know what I'm talking about, Ricardo? Yes or no? No, but I think that it's possible, like a question, uh, because yes, but I, it's not a question. Are you guys, answering the in the? It's not a question, all right? I'm sorry for interrupting there. 
guys, eso, guys, sí, lo puede hacer una pregunta, right? Ahí eso ya no es una cláusula, ¿ok? Ya no es, ya no es una dependent clause, ¿ok? Eso no es una pregunta. No confundan eso con una pregunta porque no lleva a un question mark, ¿ok? All right? Si cambiamos eso para que entienda mejor. Cambiamos esto por that, which is the same. Eh, si vos cambias who por that, significa exactamente lo mismo, guys, ¿ok? All right, yeah. if, I, if, I, if I tell you, right, Ricardo, that stole the watch. Do you understand what I'm talking about? No. All right, so same thing here, right? Who stole the watch, right? Okay, I'm not asking a question. Es que suena como que estoy preguntando, hace una pregunta, pero no es una pregunta, guys, okay? Si no es una pregunta, and you say who stole the watch, es una, es una, es independiente, okay? Got it? Uh -huh. Because you need more information. So now, how many clauses do I have here? What clauses do I have here? One. I have One. two clauses. Two clauses, yeah. guys. Oh. Those. Which is the first one? I know the man. I know the man, right? Subject verb, okay? Okay. Now, who, guys, who, and, and this is the topic that we're going to see tomorrow. Who, guys, is a relative pronoun, okay? Es un pronombre relativo, así se llama, okay? Pro nombre, okay? Pro nombre, recuerden esa palabra. Remember that word, guys. Okay, it's a pronoun, okay? Just like he, she, it, okay? Got it? So when I say who, guys, when I say who, this is the subject, okay? Got it? Esto es el subject, guys. And I have a verb, y tengo un verb. Entonces, porque tengo un subject and a verb, es una clause, got it? Because I have a subject and a verb, guys, that turns this into a clause. Got it? Yes? All yes. right. Very good, guys. Very good. Okay. Same thing here, guys. Which is another relative pronoun, right? Uh, help me read the second example. Um, Tatiana. I mean, this, this example, not the second one. I'm sorry. The third one. He bought a car which was expensive. He bought a car. Repeat. He bought. All right, I think she's busy. All right, he bought a car, which is too expensive. See? How many sentences do we have? Only one. 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 How many how many clauses? Two. 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 Which one is the which one is the independent clause? Do I have an independent yes. clause? He bought, independent. A car. he bought a car. It's independent, right? Do I have a dependent clause? Which was too expensive. Which was, Which too, was too expensive, right? All right. Remember, guys, why is this a dependent clause? Because if you see me on the screen and I, and I scream, and I scream, hey, David, which was too expensive? <laughs> El cual, voy en la calle, right? Le grito a David. Hey, David. Right? Do I need, do, does David need more information? So, so the idea makes sense? Yes. Yes, yes right? I need more. Okay, very good. He needs more information, right? All right, guys. So the same thing happens with I know that he cannot do it. He does not know where he was born, right? Etc. Etc. Okay. All right. So very good, guys. Did we learn, guys? All right. Let's check. Let me do a quick checkup, uh, a quick QA check, guys, before you leave, okay? All right. Do we know what is a uh, what is what, what is a, what a clause is? Sabemos que es una clause. Una, una, I don't know how to translate it, guys. Okay. Uh, do I know? Do we know what a clause is? Yes or no? Yes. 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 Yeah. Very good. All right. Do we know what is the difference between a dependent and in an, an independent clause? Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Very good. Okay. So give yourselves a round of applause, guys, because okay, you understood today. Okay. Very good. So, very good, guys. How, how, how do you feel about this topic for tomorrow? Do you think that we're going to do it? <laughs> Interesting. All right, very good. Tomorrow, guys, we're going we're gonna to continue with this topic, okay? We're going to talk about relative clauses, okay? Now, guys, por favor, por favor, por favor, háganme el favorazo. Ay, aquí sí le voy a hablar en español. Por favor, completen la sección 2 y el midterm, guys, antes de mañana, okay? Please, 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 okay? Y antes del domingo, guys, completen la sección 3, ¿ok? All right. Que eso es cerca de relative clauses, ¿ok? Sounds good? Do we have a deal? ¿Tenemos un trato? Yes? All right. Thank you. Send me the screenshots, guys. Yes, you guys you. are awesome. Thank you for coming. 
Good night, guys. Take care. Good night. See you guys.